Hello Leos, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your end of April 2019 reading guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you are back and I'm so excited for 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single last one of your souls. All right, so let's continue to grow and expand. Please like, share, and subscribe and don't forget to check out the description box below on information on how to book a personal reading with moi, okay? So without any further ado, let's get into your readings Leos, okay? So before we even begin, Leos, it seems like you've taken some time out for yourself, um, for healing, reflection. You really stepped out of the limelight, um, and and kind of a, and it's been kind of long. I would say longer than usual. All right, you know, I know every every line has to take a nap, but it seems like you've been in kind of hibernation mode. So let's see if we can dig into it. But I saw a lot of isolating um, cards. While I was too shuffling. And so I want to get into it. I'm curious, okay? You have to let me know in the comment section if that resonates. Three, okay? Two. One. Because some of y'all have certainly been out like a light. <laughs> like a light. Like it slept through the flight. So. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. The Page of Pentacles, so you could have been focusing on your resources. Some of you guys could be receiving a message about your finances or receiving some sort of offer that is long-term or stable, guys, okay? Could be connecting with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. Day three, two, and one last shuffle for our Leos. All right, great. All right, Leos, <laughs> like I said, the underlying energy is the hermit, okay? You guys have certainly taken some time out um, and just are sitting back, right? It seems like you you just want to gain clarity. I don't think that this is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're really trying to sort through a lot of mess and clutter, all right? And this feels like one of those things where you didn't realize how much mess and clutter you had collected. Um, you are looking at your friend group, you're looking at your friend group, your friend circles, um, your work situation, your home, and you're just looking at clutter. You're trying to clear through all of it and you have not minded to take a back seat, which is so unlike Leo's, but you could be experiencing that for the end of April. Okay. It seems like you guys are kind of going into your own personal retrograde, right? It's like if, if the sun's in retrograde. Um, and I just think that it's time. I think that you need a break and you just want to get, again, some sort of clarity. This could be emotional clarity, spiritual clarity um, with the Ace of Swords here and the Seven of Cups. But it's trying to get through each of these options and decide what's best for you. All right. And the only way that you're going to do that is the hermit mode to go inward. All right. And like this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You know, you're kind of following that. Um, but I think that some of you are like, I don't even see it. I don't even see it. So you're starting there. You're like, let me look for the light so I can actually, then after I find it, I can start to follow it. Um, but you're sorting through that mess. All right. But this is the fun part, Leo. Don't get too down on yourself. Really have fun with your imagination. You know, that's what it really has to do when you're trapped in your mind. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't think too hard about it. Listen to your intuition, all right? Because with the Two of Swords especially, we have combining your intuition and your logic, okay? This is just something that you're going to have to be strategic about, Leo. There's a strategy that you're aware of and you know that you're not going to be able to get what you want the way that you've gotten what you wanted in the past. All right. You have to be a little, you got to be a little quicker than that, you know? So it seems like a lot of you guys are just trying to figure out a game plan and the strategy to declutter. And you know that that's going to be a part of your process. So you are kind of disconnecting from the world and just focusing on your inner self. All right. So let's see what, what else we got. Okay. Yep. The four of pinnacles coming up as the heart of the reading, holding back. All right. To the six of pinnacles as your past. Okay. We have the seven of pinnacles. Wow. Really um, work related or resource related. Okay. Um, as your present moment, we have the king of wands, which is your energy just made an appearance in Aries. So you might want to check out that because their reading was about um, a resurrection too. It seems like the fire signs were, have been in hibernation, excuse me, or have been feeling some sort of stagnation excuse me, but they're going to re-emerge. Sorry guys, gross. All right. And then look, we have the queen of pinnacles, right? Coming up as your card of 
advice. Sorry, guys. I just space. Because I'm, like, so amazed with all these pinnacles. The only, um, in the actual spread, we have the Hermit, the Four of Pinnacles, the Six of Pinnacles, the Seven of Pinnacles. So there's growth, expansion. All right. That's really good. Progress. And we have the King of Wands. And we have the Queen of Pinnacles. Um, so really work. Work, 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 work. That's literally you guys. Um, let's see. So I'm imagining that you're holding back and probably on your resources. You're not being as sharing. Maybe you're, you're limited. I feel like you want to share. You want to give with the Six of Pentacles. Or maybe you were able to share and give in the past. But something hasn't come through yet. All right. You're waiting for a payment. You're waiting for um, a project to take off. It just seems like there's a hint of... Um, I want to be able to give. I know I used to be able to give, but there has been a hiccup, all right? There's just been a simple hiccup, guys. Do not fret. This is all minor arcana. You just have to be patient, all right? And I think that that's why the Queen of Pentacles is your card of advice. Again, a lot of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, Earth energy, but it is focusing and gaining abundance. You're going to receive that. Just nurture what... Just nurture yourself right now with the Hermit card, all right? So a lot of Virgo energy in particular, guys, but... Just nurture yourself and be patient because it's coming. You've done the work. You've planted the seeds, okay? But I think that spirit actually is saying to hold on to your resources. Be careful about what you're giving because you might need it until this investment gives in. Don't spend on credit is like what I'm hearing too. You know, don't get too, even though you know that this big money's coming in or you know that you're going to be receiving this payment or, or what have you it could be refund. Don't get too ahead of yourself because it could be delayed in some way there. You know, the, the bank could send it to the wrong bank and there could be a problem. You're just going to have to sort through a hiccup of some sort. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's just, you're going to have to take a breath and, you know, work towards it that way. But look, you're going to be shebanging by the end of it. Okay. So fuck a hiccup. Okay. You know, <laughs> You're going to be four or five figures. Like, that's literally going to be you, your city girl, city boy, sitting on your throne. People are going to be noticing you again. Um, I think that you're going to be, you're going to be feeling rich and looking rich. I do think that the money does come or the resources do come. The stability does come in the long run. But you're going to be living that lifestyle anyway. People aren't, aren't going to be able to tell how much you might have been struggling a couple weeks ago just because you were waiting for this thing to come in. But I do sense that there is a need for patience. Um, and take this time instead of focusing on showboating in a way, instead of focusing on showing off and what you're going to get, focus on what you can invest in spiritually. Focus on don't get, you know, <laughs> you're about to be blessed with some sort of gift and it's just like don't squander it on really dumb shit all right be smart about what you're investing in be smart about what you're growing all right be kind of frugal all right is what i'm getting leo's just don't go crazy with this money because yes it's a lot but handle it you know think about saving some of it or and think about donating some of it okay um just don't get too spendthrift i i got that I got that message for some of you guys, which isn't a bad message. It's just, you know, be aware. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with our Moonology deck, guys. I'm imagining a lot of Capricorn energy too, guys. Um, Saturn, maybe Saturn has some sort of placement, but you're really going to be learning a harsh lesson about your finances if you don't invest it correctly all right and Saturn is not a fun teacher like I always say he's like the one teacher who genuinely loves history like and you couldn't care less you're bored to tears but you know he's gonna ask the question about the years and stuff like you know Saturn's that guy he's that teacher um great great guy once you're out of the class but very hard grader like he's not gonna bump your 89 to a 90 like no you're gonna have a B he's that type of teacher so don't test him you know don't test him during this Test. just study just do what you need to do because he's not gonna give you that push I mean he will eventually because you're working at it and he understands that you regret it but just skip past that part okay guys and just do the right thing <laughs> the first time is kind of what I'm getting yeah we have emotions are running high again that was also in the Aries reading and what do you need to release okay so there is a need for 
inner reflection, particularly if you feel overwhelmed by your circumstances, okay? We have confidence is your key to success, which I absolutely love. This popped out. This is your energy here. But because your emotions are running so high, right, it's causing some sort of disillusionment and confusion. So don't get too lost with your head in the clouds. Again, I do see some clarity coming in for you. I don't think that that's going to be a problem, but just make sure that you, you know, pass this, pass this test, okay? And so we have, it's time to release negativity also. So what do you need to release? It's time to release negativity and hold your vision, okay? Even though you're having this hiccup, don't think that all is lost. Don't just fall on the floor because, you know, it was delayed. Remain patient, you know, you just have to be confident. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry guys, but I was like, you just truly have to be confident about your vision about what you want. I know that you're extremely passionate about it. Um, and because it's, because it hasn't looked the way that you wanted it to look, you have gone inward and turned off, but take this time to reflect about how you can better move forward. Don't throw the whole thing away. That has really been the theme of this these readings it's like just because there's a just because there's a little crack on the foundation don't rip the whole thing up just work on patching up that crack it's not gonna it'll work out in the long run actually you know it's not a quick fix it's just an adjustment all right let's see Two. Ooh, we'll take it and one. All right. <laughs> Loyal heart. All right. And that ties beautifully with hold your vision to me because it's being loyal to yourself, being loyal to your dreams, being loyal to your imagination, um, and making sure that you're following that intuition when you get that clarity. All right, just go for it. Have faith, have faith in yourself, be confident in it. Okay. Um, yeah, between worlds, you're going through a transition and I understand that it can be quite confusing, but again, between worlds is three. So this is just stepping into an, an expansion and a grow, a growing period. Okay, guys. So we have by the book and yin. All right. So there's a mix of feminine energy here. That could be the inwardness, the femininity. Okay. But we have by the book, you, some of you guys could be encountering a twin flame situation with loyal heart. And then we have the number 11 here. Um, but by the book. So some of you guys are following tradition, but I think that you're, when you go inward, those are the type of questions that you're going to ask. Am I going to be like my father? Am I going to be like my mother? What am I going to do? What really lights my fire? Am I just trying to please somebody else or am I trying to please myself? Okay, that is the by the book. It's just questioning that tradition, all right? And questioning in a positive way for you. And don't be afraid of the answer, okay? That is like the biggest thing about the hermit energy. It's like you can't be afraid of the answer. You can't be afraid of what you find. Um, You just have to take that knowledge and move it along with you, all right? As you start to grow and develop, okay? Ooh, it's 555. Five, five. Hey. Hey, guys. All right. All right. Three. Actually, no, we have two cards. Actually, sorry. Two. All right. <laughs> Got it. Intuition. Serenity. And planetary cycles. All right. So we have intuition. Serenity oops, and planetary cycles, okay? So there's been some sort of evolution. Um, like I said, pay attention to your horoscope. Anytime I see this plan planetary cycles, pay very close attention to your horoscope, particularly if you feel off and you're trying to figure out why you're like, why do I feel so off? It could be a planetary al alignment and not necessarily you. Excuse me, so you might not be going crazy. But, you know, intuition and the hermit card go beautifully. This is what I'm saying. You are really decluttering. All right, and trying to get to the best conclusion possible. Your answers are in, are within reach. That Oracle card didn't come out, but that's genuinely how I feel this is happening. You just got to listen to yourself, and in order to do that, you just have to tune out the noise, all right? Um, and then once you get into it, Leo, look, ser serenity, 
All right, I will check out the Aries reading too if you have time, guys, because it was kind of it's very similar to this. They're coming back and stepping in. You know, it's like Return of the Mac. All right, they're coming back and stepping into their own power, and it seems like you're doing that too. You might step into it a little bit later, um, closer to your birthday. You might take a break um, around until August. It really might be that long, guys, and I don't think that that's bad. And that might be that long for this opportunity to come in. You know, it, it's going to take some time, but it's going to be worth the wait. Just be smart and be wise about how you spend this opportunity all right it's really one of those like you're gonna receive like I don't know spiritual currency and it's and it's really gonna be about how you spend it and, and not just spiritual currency it's gonna be physical because the pinnacles are here too so it's just a matter of being smart and being wise and again check out your horoscopes to find out if any if you feel a little off you know particularly since you're going so inward and you don't want to be around that reflection read about it learn about it educate yourself learn something new about your spirituality okay you might notice something in your chart that you didn't know before and now you're amazing you're like oh maybe that's why I'm like that it's that time to learn about yourself Leo so that's what I got for you I really hope that this message resonated please let me know in the comment section be below and as always guys don't forget to like share and subscribe check out the description box below and information on how to book a personal reading with me and peace Leo's until next time.